What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, as always. I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I am. For me, any day that I can get up and get out of bed, and I have work to do is a great day, no matter what happens. You know, if I can do those things and have my wonderful bride by my side, there's nothing I can't handle. Now, just finished doing my live stream and I'm getting ready to go to bed tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be here, it will be another day and we'll meet new challenges and so on. Here's I, I try and be an optimist for the most part. And I'm sitting here thinking that, you know, everybody's upset about the players that we haven't re-signed and things. And I think a lot of times we have players that step up that we're not expecting them to. You know, Stephen Jones always says we believe in our own guys. And I started thinking because I was talking with um, DMV and E2 Blue on their live stream. They invited me in and I was carrying a conversation with them. And E2 Blue said, man, you know, a guy like Dante Fowler, man, that Dante Fowler, you know, he's a good rotational guy. He adds some depth. And then I started thinking about all the guys. So, you know, you think about Dante Fowler who had, I think, four sacks and things. You know, you think about Navelle Gallimore who hasn't been what he we, we thought he was going to be. When we saw him truck Mike Pouncey, we thought, oh my God, we got a stud. But after he hyperextended his elbow, he was never the same. And so you look at that and say, okay, all right, I, I, I got that. And even Doris Armstrong, when we signed Doris Armstrong to the contract that we did at the time, we were losing Randy Gregory, and he filled the void for us. He, in fact, played better than Randy Gregory did. And so if you start looking at some of the guys, some of the young guys that we don't know or forget about, Goldston, a guy that we got to trade back and picked up the extra pick from the Eagles and took. It's a guy that's, that's not a bad player, hasn't had much of an opportunity to play. Sam Williams has been used more on special teams than anything else has had a hard time getting into the groove and getting into the rhythm because we do have Dante Fowler and we had Dorrance Armstrong and we've got um, D-Law. You can almost look at it and say, we have so many guys that it's hard for anybody to get in there and get a rhythm. And maybe what if Goldston and Sam Williams are just as good as Dante Fowler and Doris Armstrong. Because if they are, all of a sudden, you're a better team. Because I want you to think about this. Taco Charlton just signed with one of the USFL teams. Taco Charlton's career has not gone like he thought it was going to. You know, Char Charles Haley questioned Taco Charlton's football IQ and desire. It's a mistake that we made in the draft. But we drafted Taco because we didn't have any faith in the guys that we had on our defense. We kept saying, who's going to rush the passer? Because we didn't have anybody. But the interesting thing is, is Taco didn't do shit. But I tell you who did, who stepped out of nowhere after having back surgery being suspended by the NFL and having one sack the year before to Marcus Lawrence stepped up and had 14 and a half sacks from what nobody predicted him to be able to do anything in fact people were at the point of saying that guy might be a bust so how do we know that we don't have a Demarcus Lawrence ready to jump into getting the opportunity and Sam Williams. 
maybe I am just reaching, you know, people say I'm grabbing at straws, that I'm just trying to put lipstick on a pig, that the cowboys are going to be terrible. But I'm sitting here in my mind thinking about the commanders that, you know, they've gone out, they picked up a lot of players and everything else. Do you look at the commanders and say, yeah, they're a Super Bowl contender? I don't. And the Eagles still have some flaws on that defense. Yeah, they've signed a lot of guys. But that secondary of theirs was terrible last year. It was old. Really old. And Saquon, I pointed out to you guys about running backs past their prime leaving and going to other teams. Call me a hater if you want to. That's fine. Yeah, I've been called worse things. But it doesn't always work out the way people think that it is. So this is where you got to wait and see what happens during the season. And I'm going to say that the Cowboys, maybe, while everybody's blowing their wide on a couple of players, maybe the Cowboys surprise us later on. You know, it's kind of like Fatal Attraction. You know, Fatal Attraction, where they got, you know, Glenn Close as Crazy Woman. You know, she's the cook the rabbit and the pot and stuff, the kid's pet. And she's at the house and stuff, and she's there. You know, he chokes her out on her drowns. I can't remember how he killed her, how we thought she was dead. But she was drowning. I can't remember if he was choking her or whatever. You know, it's like, huh. Oh, okay, we're safe, honey. And then she pops out the water, ah, with the knife, right? Who's to say that the cowboys aren't that fatal attraction? That the Cowboys, when you least expect it, that they're playing, you know, possum. Let everybody go through and do all these things. And then all of a sudden they become wheelers and dealers and make a couple of trades like they did last year for Stefan Gallimore and Brandon Cooks. That they go ahead and get Dak and CD done. And then that next wave, all of a sudden, really try and make some moves. To get in some good talent. I'm not quite ready to give up on this team. I, I know people have left them for dead. I'm going to try and hold them accountable. I'm going to look at them with a side eye. But I'm not going to give up. And that's where I am. And it looks like I put in too much fuel tonight. But... Um, I want to, as always, say thank you guys and you ladies and everybody that watches the Joe Goose Sports Report. I've got to, uh, I got to start trying harder again because, you know, it's amazing. I don't know who's on the other side of the camera unless they send me a message. And I was communicating with Hmm. A minister in Tyler, Texas, whose church, unfortunately, because of a hate crime, was burned down. Small church, Tyler, Texas, rose capital of the world and home of Earl Campbell. I think it was Earl Campbell. Was it Earl Campbell? I think it was Earl Campbell. And re realizing that I got a pastor, and I think he's not the only one. And I got to do better for the people that watch. So I'm trying to not lose my religion and cuss people out. With that being said, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And uh, last night I did not do my fireside chat. I just literally fell asleep on the couch. And um, I appreciate you guys. And God willing... I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, tell the people you love, you love them. This world is crazy, and you might not get the chance again. And I love you guys. Peace out.